Hey, Uber GTO here, and today I'm going to review the Bulldog. This is the DLC that just came out for Dragon's Teeth, and this is a fairly good assault rifle. Now, first of all, the biggest pro is the damage. At close range, you're going to be doing 34, which is pretty heavy hitting, and at max range, you're going to do 25 damage, which is usually the max of most other assault rifles, except for something like the Scar H, which this weapon is very similar to. Now, one of the key differences between those weapons is the fire rate. This thing shoots at 700 rounds per minute, which is 80 more than the Scar H performs at. So that leads us to a time to kill that's ridiculously low. 171, that doesn't just beat the Scar H, that actually beats the FAMAS. So you're definitely going to see some quick deaths and quick kills with this weapon, as two shots at any range can kill you from a headshot, and one shot and then one into the dome was definitely going to kill you. And uh, most other guns are going to take a little bit more, and the ones that don't, don't fire this quickly. Although this gun does have a little bit more recoil than the Scar H does, for instance. You have 0.3 left and right, and vertical you're at 0.55 with a 1.6 multiplier. That's not so bad. It's easily counted with a uh, muzzle brake, though. And uh, all you got to worry about is pulling down slightly on your control pad or mouse. And is well suited for those medium range engagements. And you can even reach out and touch a few snipers. It's not the best at range because that fire rate is a little bit high for those kind of shots. But I definitely do it quite a bit with that damage model it has. It's not that hard to do. And when up close and personal, the hip fire is not so bad. Mostly because that damage it does. That 34 damage at those close ranges that you would hip fire means you could take him down very quickly. Uh, one of the cons though with this weapon is the ammo capacity. You only get 20 rounds plus one in the chamber. Which it makes it very difficult to get a three piece like that just there. They have to be very bunched up and typically you're going to run into situations where you're not going to want to run into more than one or two because you'll just run out of ammo and need a good secondary to back yourself up. As for the other con, the weapon's reload isn't the fastest. It's 2.5 seconds if you have at least something left in your magazine and 3.2 seconds on the long reload, which is fairly slow. It's not the worst. The FOMAS is worse than that. But it, it definitely hurts you quite a bit in a lot of situations. I've, I've died quite a few times trying to get that reload off. So try to be self-aware and get into situations where it's just going to be one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two at best. And personally, I found this best to use four or five round bursts on enemies. Uh, typically, I use two bursts at each group. But that means uh, after the second one, you're going to have used 18 to 20 rounds, which is pretty much all you have left. So when that third guy comes, you better be ducking or you better be pulling your secondary out. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get this weapon? Well, it's pretty stinking easy. All you have to do is be rank 10, have Dragon's Teeth DLC. You got to play at least one map on the DLC. And the rest of it's extremely simple. And you're going to get it anyway. All you need to do as an assault player, kill 10 support, 10 engineer, and 10 recon players. That's it. All right, that's probably one of the easiest gun assignments there are. Now, how I like running this weapon is, uh, well, my red dot of choice. Uh, right now, it's just the reflex because that's what I have available. I also have the uh, holo sight. I don't quite like that as much on assault rifles, but the coyote and cobra must have come in battle packs much later, unfortunately. After that, first accessory, laser sight of choice. It uh, doesn't really matter here, but it does help your hip fire, and I do hip fire quite a bit personally. Uh, it's definitely my next choice. And a uh, barrel, muzzle brake, easily. This gun doesn't have too much side to side, and it's even. And But it does have quite a bit of vertical recoil. And that muzzle brake, that's definitely what it's going to help you with. It keeps this thing level. And as far as the under barrel goes, I think the stubby grip's probably going to win out here. The end grip's really not necessary since it doesn't kick that much in the first round. But I also like to use the ergo grip quite a bit because I do hit fire uh, quite a lot. And uh, both of them, I don't know, I, I kind of teeter back and forth. Here, I would go with an ergo grip when I'm doing this close quarter stuff. But if it was a little bit more of a range and I'm going to fire this a little faster, it definitely would be the stubby. And with that, uh, I quite like this gun. It, it hits fairly freaking hard. And uh, I know quite a few people are already uh, really mad that this gun exists because it does a little too much. And they think it's overpowered. If you found my video useful, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, follow me on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, it'll immediately tell you when I upload a video. And uh, right here on the left, I have Chain Link Gameplay. I really do like this mode. I'm using the Bulldog here. And on the right, Sunken Dragon Rush. Uh, one of the very few good Rush maps that we got in Battlefield 4. Thanks, guys.